Hi everybody! Two videos in one week. What do you think? Sorry, but don't get used to it. <laughs> so somebody asked me on my last video, her name is Nancy Vistine. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. She asked me if I could use or if you can use Distress Oxide Sprays on the jelly plate that she was afraid to try, afraid she would ruin her plate. So I thought, I'll give it a try. And I love it. I honestly haven't been enjoying my Distress Oxide Sprays. Well, I haven't played with them enough to really, you know, really play and experiment with them. But on the jelly plate, I actually loved it. And I was surprised. I didn't think I would because in the past I've tried sprays on the jelly plate and I did not like it. But I really, I really liked it. And I find in the video, it's not, it's not really showing how it looks in real life. Like there's just this softness to it and it's, it just looks so pretty and blended but in any pictures that I show or in the video it has this dull grungy look and in real life it doesn't really look like that like it looks so much better so you have if you have it give it a try but now I haven't had any problems with my jelly plate so far but I also haven't done anything else on my jelly plate since I've put the sprays on them. So don't blame me <laughs> if your jelly plate gets wrecked. Mine is okay so far. I am not paying for replacements. <laughs> so this is a Julie Fafan Balzer stencil called Numbers. And I should have wrote everything down before I started editing this video. So that's a crafter's workshop stencil. I will link all the supplies down below. And I don't recall which, like what colors I used. Because I was just playing and I got so excited that I forgot to take note of the colors I was using. Because honestly, I really didn't think it was going to work. Like, I thought it was going to be a flop. But it, I, I personally, I think it's very pretty. So this is another Crafter's Workshop stencil. And it is called Wallflowers. And it is by Art by Marlene. See, I was so excited to get this posted. Like, honestly, I wanted to share this last night when I did it, but it was late and I was tired. So I'm doing it now. And as I sat down and I started talking, when the first stencil came up, it was like, oh, crap, I didn't. I am not prepared. So when you're putting the stencil down, put it backwards, like upside down and backwards. I know some don't matter and honestly if you accidentally forget like it's no big deal honestly a mixed media and when it's just another layer in the background who cares it all looks good in the end this is an old stencil it is a crafters workshop stencil and it's another one by Art by Marlene from Crafters Workshop called Distress Details. And it's not really old, like it's summer 2017, so it's not ancient. <laughs> it's just not a new one. But I never stop playing with the old ones because some of the old ones are my favorite. Now, my camera had stopped recording, so the stencils I use there, I see Onion Skins. That's Crafter's Workshop by Julie Faye Fan Balzer. And there was, 
Um, maybe. I know it's a crafter's workshop stencil because all the ones I used were crafter's workshop. It was an art by Marlene called Texture Plate. This one is a newer one by Julie Fay Fan Balzer from Crafters Workshop and it's called Script Words. And this one I think it came out beautiful. I believe it was this one. Yeah. I like the color. The that's a denim blue or whatever his denim color is. I find it looked really nice. Like it really popped against the orange and the yellows in the background. Like I could give you a list of the colors I use. Like I don't know what color I'm using where, but the colors are still out on my table that I use. So I would know what family <laughs> I used. Okay, so before all the prints that I was making, I was just using the 65 pound cardstock from Michael's Recollections. And I thought, well, maybe watercolor paper would be better because usually I do find it is better like when doing techniques with distress oxide inks so I got a it's the artist loft brand and it's 145 no <laughs> 140 pound watercolor paper or 300 G and I did not like it not at all I was so shocked that the Recollections paper was better. Okay, this one is an older one as well. It is from Julie Fay Fan Balzer, and it is called Magic Ladder. Sorry if you hear rustling, because I just took the pile of stencils that I was using, and I put them in a pile next to me so I could sort through and find the name of the stencil for you. This one is called Love Sonnet, and it is by Julie, Fan, Julie Fay Fan Balzer. And like I said, all the stencils I am using are the Crafters Workshop. Like, it's okay, like the watercolor paper print, but honestly... I wouldn't waste my nice watercolor paper on it. Instead, I would just use the cheaper, like, Recollections cardstock. It's more affordable, like, for when you're doing jelly prints. Like, I personally, I don't want to spend tons of, like, use expensive paper because I just want to play and make tons of prints and not have to worry about it costing me a fortune. And the Recollections paper was way better. So this one is the Wallflower Stencil again by Art by Marlene. And earlier when I used the Number Stencil, I told you it was just called Numbers. It's actually called Number Scramble. I thought about it after. <laughs> and I find when using the sprays on the jelly plate, um, Sometimes it's always safer, I found, to pat the paper, like when you lay the paper on top of the spray, to just pat it instead of rubbing your hand against it. Because I found sometimes when you just slid your hand against the back of the paper, it made the ink spray kind of like smush underneath that or maybe it was just coincidence and there was too much ink. I don't know. Okay, I decided to take one of the um, their tags from Ranger. Hold on.
I say hold on like you know I'm getting up. <laughs> Anyways, it's a Dilutions journaling tag. And it measures, it's their number 12. And it measures 10 by 5 and 1 eighths. Oh no, 10 and 5 1 eighths of an inch by 10 and a half inches. They don't give the measurements in, in centimeters, so sorry. So this jelly plate is one of the um, the set that Dina and Diane brought out with gel press. The there's three in a pack. There's this one which fits the tags per, um, perfectly. Then there's a larger one that fits Diane's large journal, I believe. And then there's a small circle. But look how pretty it looks on the tags. I was really excited. Like, I liked the pages that I did. But when I made this tag, I was, I was thrilled. I really liked it. And this, you don't even, um, you don't even see that man appear in the tag. Okay, now these are not Crafters Workshop stencils. They are Ranger. The circle one is a Diane Reevely and it's called Doodle Circles. The one that's on top in the yellow is Dina Wakely. And that one is called Medieval Crosses. And the dude that's on there that doesn't even show up is called Giant Funky Silhouettes. And that one is a Dina Wakely as well. See, now this I love. The Medieval Crosses, it got smushed a little bit on top, but I didn't care. I thought it still looked awesome. Okay, this is another Dina Wakely stencil and it's called Stenciled Women. And I'm masking off the rest of the gel plate because I only wanted the face to get the ink because I mean with spray you can't control where it goes and it would have went on other spots on the plate. So that one I really made sure to just pat it and not rub my hand across it because where it was a detail, not like there's a lot of detail, but I didn't want the eyes to get totally smushed. I want I wanted you to be able to tell it was a face. And I'll do the same thing with the words. And remember, like words, numbers, anything that matters which way it goes, put it upside down. So this is another Dina Wakely stencil, and it's called Affirmations. I love this stencil. I really like this tag. <laughs> I felt like I wanted a little bit more yellow, so I did the medieval crosses again and put it on the bottom. And another thing, I tried cleaning the plate after every color of Distress Oxide because they do stick on the plate and it's not the same as paint where it can kind of look cool. It, I just, I chose the clean the plate after every new spray of color. And this one I just splattered the paint on the jelly plate. And that is it. So I did another tag today and I recorded it on my phone and I am going to put it on Instagram. So my name on Instagram is the same as here. It's Denise Lush. So if you wanted to see that one, you can go on my Instagram account and have a look.
and I'll be posting the process video on there if I can get it to work. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed me um, watching me play with Distress Oxide Sprays and the gel plate. And thank you so much, Nancy, for the idea. I really appreciate it, and I had so much fun. And I hope you liked it, too. So thanks, everybody. Bye.